Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about blossom and rat, what causes it, some quick fixes and also how to prevent it. Uh, you can see blossom and rat in plants like peppers, tomatoes, squashes, zucchinis, watermelons. I don't have most of them, I do have peppers and tomatoes. And as you can see my peppers are doing okay, however I got blossom and rat and one of my tomatoes. Just one tomato, not the whole plant. And what blossom and rat is, is the browning of the bottom of your fruit where the blossom used to be. It uh, starts small and then continuously grows. Unfortunately, you can't fix that. You just have to remove the tomato or the pepper, whatever plant you have affected. There are three main things that may cause blossom and rat. The first one is fluctuation in temperatures or the temperatures being too high. The second one is inconsistent watering, letting your plants get too dry and then overwater them. And the third one is calcium deficiency or the plant's inability to absorb the calcium that is already in the soil. In my case, I would assume is the high temperatures that we had here for a couple of weeks now. It's been 110 degrees or warmer. However, I will add some calcium to the soil just in case to prevent future blossom and rat if that was the cause. And here I will show you how I'm going to do that. So I am going to use anti-acid pills that I bought from the pharmacy store. And those particular ones uh, contain 600 milligrams of calcium per pill. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two pills and dilute them in one and a half gallons of water. And the best way to crush a peel is uh, chop it in a half so it doesn't come out of the spoon. Take two spoons and uh, crush it gently because it will come out of the spoon so you don't want to waste any. And put it in your watering can and then take the other half, crush it and put it in the watering can and do this with the other peels. When filling up the, your watering can with water, make sure to put the water in the strongest setting. This way it's going to break the pills even further and mix them very well in the water so you don't have to do any additional mixing. First I water my plants the way I normally do and then I add the diluted calcium and just pour it around my tomato plants and I should probably do it around the pepper plants too just in case. And what you can do is put the solution in spray bottle and spray the leaves of your plant. However, I'm not doing it because it's very hot here and I'm worried I may burn the leaves. So I'll give these pills a chance and see if they work. However, make sure that you water your plants consistently and don't let them get too dry. There isn't much that you can do about the high temperatures, but make sure to give your plants good calcium-rich fertilizer when you first transplant them into your garden. And up above I'm going to put a link to a video by Lisa's World, and she used milk on her zucchinis, so you can go watch the video and uh, ask her questions on how she did that. And if you guys find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you! And uh, then another uh, way to find them at night